So, Curtis Thompson has announced he is leaving the Chair Boys after a number of years of great service. He leaves after playing some 135 games in the league and 152 appearances overall. And I'm going to talk about Curtis first and then what I think this means for the squad in general. So, I thought Curtis, on his day, was an absolutely amazing player. He's somebody that I could see fulfilling that scouting role really, really well. And we did see that a couple of times throughout the years. However, over the past two years, he simply hasn't been fit. I think last time I checked, this stat is out of date slightly. He played 24 games in the past two seasons. That's not necessarily good enough, especially with two promotion chasing seasons. And it's something that I had been thinking for a while. He was a fantastic player when he played. But we're using his wages on a player who couldn't get on the pitch all that often. And we have limited wages. So I am sad to see him go. You know, I do really like Curtis. I think, as I said, he is an exceptional player. But part of me is also glad to see him go. For a couple of reasons. First of all, as I said, his wage should be off the book. We can now look in the market for free agents or even loans and he used those wages for a, per a player who's not necessarily going to be better but is going to be more regularly available which is something we definitely need when we're trying to fight for playoffs. One of my biggest criticisms of Wickham has been we've always had a very strong 11 but a really terrible squad compared to the rest of the leagues. You look at Ipswich, Bolton, Plymouth, they all had amazing players, 20-25 players. We always had a very strong 11 I'd say that could to fight anybody in the league but when somebody gets injured or somebody just needs a rest or we need to change a game we don't have the players there to change that sort of game and Curtis is a victim of that as well he's a very similar player to Josh Gowan so I think it was a bit of an inevitable day and in in never but ah I can't even say that word but I think as well Bloomfield didn't trust him or rate him which is very harsh considering he played with Curtis, so it must be very difficult for Bloomfield. This is the first time Bloomfield's having to cut players out of the squad, and even worse, it's going to have, it's gonna be players that he has played with. There's very few players in this team that haven't played with him. I think Jordan Willis is the only one I can think of off the top of my head, Max Striak. So, it's going to be tough for him, but it's going to be a great learning experience for him. But I also think this is going to be a big window for Bloomfield and this is him taking control it would have been very easy to offer him a new contract say yeah he's done well but I think he's making those tough decisions and I think we're going to see that more in the next couple of days or weeks that he is going to be taking a bit of a more difficult decisions I think honestly he's going to have a very long think about Gareth McCleary he's going to be 36 still very very good but are you looking to get somebody younger in so, I literally am heading off to work in about 5 or 10 minutes, but I thought I'd just hop on and give some of my thoughts. It's a big moment for Wickham, I think. This transfer window, I think, will be a massive moment for us. I think this is a, absolutely a transition season, a, transi a transition window that we need to get right. And I think, as harsh as it is, getting rid of Thompson is a part of that transition. I don't think he'll have any difficulties finding a new club. If he stays fit, I think he is a good League One player. But we've just not been able to get him fit. And this is a club that is actually quite good at rehabilitating players. We've seen Sammy Vokes, who's had some major injuries. Um, Mawson came to us and we helped him for at least that half a season. That was actually partly his own fault as well. He played as many games as he was supposed to play in a year in half a season. Um, we've seen Freeman come back exceptionally from a long-term injury. He's played the most games out of any player at the club after a massive, massive injury that laid him out for a good long time. So the ability to rehab players is there. For whatever reason, even now that he is seemingly fit, Bloomfield doesn't necessarily want him. And I do agree with that. I don't think he's necessarily a passer. We want people, by the looks of it, who are going to be good on the ball, who are going to be able to pass the ball, keep the ball. We can have Scowin as that destroyer, that ball winning midfielder, but we need other players who can fit that sort of style Bloomfield wants. I presume I'll be coming back soon with some more players who are leaving, but otherwise have a good day, Wanderers.